Hi, you're watching Hindustan Times and I am Aditi Prasad. As the COVID-19 pandemic rages, there is one word on everyone's lips and that is the vaccine. And right now, several vaccines are in the works. Uh, but how will we know which is the right vaccine? How effective will that vaccine be when it comes? Uh, will, it, will there be enough vaccine for each one of us? Uh, you know, these are these are some questions that everybody is asking, everybody is thinking. Uh, I have with me Dr. Gagandeep Khan, uh, you know, one of the eminent, most eminent microbiologists uh, in India and uh, professor at the Christian Medical College in Vellore. Uh, she is credited with pioneering work on the indigenous uh, rotavirus vaccine and is the first Indian scientist to be elected fellow of the Royal Society. Hi, ma'am. Welcome to Hindustan Times. And I'm sure our, our viewers have a lot of questions today. And I'm sure they'll keep writing in while we are talking. But first and foremost, the question that everybody wants to know, where is the vaccine? In development. There are now 320 plus vaccine projects and about 50 vaccines that are in clinical trials, over a dozen of which are in phase three trials. And phase three is the stage that tells us whether the vaccine is really working or not. Once we have results from the phase three trials, we will have the first information that tells us whether these vaccines work or not. So far, the information that we have is that these vaccines are safe in small numbers. They are immunogenic, they induce an immune response. But at this time, even though people tell us that vaccines are working well, what they mean by saying they are working well until now is to say that they are inducing an immune response, not that they are protecting us from disease. That is the information that we will get from the large scale phase three studies that involve tens of thousands of people around the world. So, ma'am, what I hear you saying is that the vaccine is in the works, uh, you know, and, and that there are clinical trials going on everywhere. We keep reading about that every day. How soon can we hope for uh, one, two, three, or, you know, some vaccines to see the light of the day? What is the earliest that you would, uh, if you were a crystal gazing person, uh, how soon would you predict that a vaccine would be, be in our hands or be with us? I think we will have what are called interim results from one or two vaccines this year for sure. So I think the Pfizer vaccine will give us some results. It's possible that we may also get results from the AstraZeneca vaccine. But getting interim results just tells us that the vaccine is working reasonably well. It doesn't mean that the trials don't stop. They will continue. Follow-up of people in the trials will continue. But getting positive results on an interim analysis will allow the vaccine companies to then approach their regulators and ask for permission to use these vaccines more widely. Depending on the country in which the regulators are located, the company could ask for an accelerated licensure. They could ask for an emergency use authorization, or they could ask for a conditional approval, all of which would allow the vaccines to be used on a much wider scale. Once the regulators give that, the WHO could give an emergency use listing, which would then allow the vaccines to be used in many more countries based on the WHO recommendation. Now, given we have let's say, a positive in interim analysis by the end of the year. The companies could go directly to the regulators. You could be looking at having a conditional approval or an EUA by the end of the year, early next year. That still doesn't mean that everybody's going to have vaccine. It means that we will then start to see a trickle of doses coming in, in the parts of the world where the regulators are located. Then we get the WHO approval and then the vaccines start to move to many countries. So what we are looking at is small numbers, very, very optimistically 
in the first quarter of next year, more likely second quarter of next year. And the numbers then will start increasing as more and more vaccines get their results. And hopefully we will have companies that have lots of doses ready for them. Right. So what I hear you saying, ma'am, is that there are there will be at first interim vaccines, which are probably not going to be as effective. Is that is that what you're saying? And then the clinical trials are going to continue and they're going to. Uh, yes, please. No, the vaccine is the same. People don't make, uh, you know, half good vaccine and then convert that into a good yeah. vaccine. It is yeah. an interim analysis of the data that will be done. So usually the trial has a size that gives you a great deal of confidence in the results. And in the trials that have been set up, what is being done is that they're recruiting between 30, 45, 60,000 people, about whom half or two thirds are getting the vaccine and the others are getting a placebo. Now the okay. people making the vaccine don't know who has got what. Now we will start to count the number of cases of COVID-19 that happen in this group, still not knowing which one got the vaccine, which one didn't. Once you reach a certain number of cases, you can look at the data. And if it appears that the vaccinated people have less disease than the people who did not receive the vaccine, then you know the vaccine is working. Now, the problem with an interim analysis is the more the number of cases that you get, the more confident you are in how good your vaccine is. The right. FDA and the WHO have asked for any vaccine to have at least 50% efficacy. So that means the vaccine should be able to prevent 50% of a clinically significant infection with SARS-CoV-2. Okay. If you do an interim analysis, then even though you think it might be 50%, your confidence intervals are much larger. You will not have the true result until you finish the entire trial. So an interim huh. analysis is a signal that things are going well based on which you go for licensure. But to have absolute confidence in the results, you continue the trial until you achieve the number of cases that you had set out to do. Even if the vaccines come uh, or vaccine slash vaccines come, uh, we will need to continue living the way or living in this new normal, which is interacting virtually, uh, maintaining social distancing, wearing masks. Uh, uh, for a long time to come then because till the time you finally figure out one with a better efficacy. So 50% is the minimum for licensure. We may actually find that the vaccine has 70 or 80% efficacious, but no vaccine that is less than 50% point estimate will be licensed by any licensing authority. That's why having these large numbers of people tested is very, very important.